Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model review. Looking at the 176 Crusader tank containing parts for the Crusader 2 and 3. It would claim to be around the 72nd 76 range. This model is very well known for being grossly inaccurate. It's quite massive, so the scale is probably far outside of that. But with uh, barrel lengths and other details, it's um, more or less a monster within itself after seeing a comparison review with a S model kit. So this model has not been in production for many years, late 80s, early 90s. Not sure if the moulds were lost in the fire in France, uh, one of the airfix factories burning down, or the fact that this model's so terrible, they uh, won't make any more. Though they still make the Jason Stalin tank. The kit is very standard airfix wise. We have uh, a few green runners, uh, multiple of the uh, wheels, bogies, suspension, and the hull, uh, two vinyl tracks. A bit of propaganda material, sales bit, um, airfix club, and decals. Uh, the decals are completely unusable. The instructions in line with uh, the more later uh, model kits are uh, very clear, easy to read, um, a bit of a description of the tank and whatnot. Uh, going straight into the tank itself, it's uh, building the actual uh, box and main hull. Now, fitting wise, the kit is not bad at all. Everything slots together quite nicely. Reads very, very easily. It is one of the later kits, so the construction-wise, it's a lot of fun. It's um, quite a build and quite interesting. It's the uh, detail and generally the proportions that's the uh, biggest uh, killer of it, or if anything, most collectible. The model comes with parts for two turrets to make the Crusader 2 or the Crusader 3. Going for a girls and panzer scheme, obviously uh, the Crusader 3 was chosen. Do love the rivets all over the um, turret. And, uh, you know, bigger cannons, more fun. The wheels are massive and partially covered with the side armor. So that was very, very quick opposed to uh, some other kits such as the German stuff that takes forever to assemble all the wheels. The vinyl tracks wrap around, super glue in place, and uh, the whole kit only took a couple of hours to assemble. No serious seam lines are split or can be seen. Virtually just chucked primer straight onto it. So build-wise, extremely, extremely satisfying. Straight into painting once it got its home. Sprayed everything down with uh, Tamiya Grey Primer to search for imperfections, issues, flash. None of that was uh, clearly visible. Pretty happy about that. And laid down a coat of Guy Note Oxidized Red as a suitable undercoat. Now, looking at the anime and trying to um, depict the uh, school, sort of a bit of a, a field blue look. It's uh, definitely not in line whatsoever with um, the military colors. So with some line art and pictures downloaded online, I started with a darker blue and then started shading um, a medium blue, a field blue, and some light blue highlights at the top via airbrush in uh, multiple coats. After all of that was done, uh, small details such as some of the stowage, a uh, bit of the exhaust, machine guns, tank tracks, and little uh, rubber treads on the wheels were all hand painted with various different acrylics and uh, lacquers suitable for the colours they should be. Everything given a gloss coat, uh, some water uh, slide decals depicting the girls in Panzer School applied to the turret as close as possible to the reference material I found online. A few coats of SMS clear matte to dull the thing down and a little bit of uh, sludge wash uh, black to make all the detail pop and a bit of sand colour for just a little lick, a tiny taste of weathering. Uh, the barrels and some of the exhaust areas was free-handed um, airbrushed with uh, black to show off a soot effect. And uh, this concludes the video on the kit. 
uh, review wise really enjoyed it fun build fun paint schemes probably a tad dark for my taste being a bright and bubbly source material that is the show all in all uh, definitely really dig it didn't um, damage the decals like I did a few projects ago and uh, yeah very happy extremely happy that I hunted down this kit as a collector's item uh, not easy to find they go for way too much online did source it at a swap and sell at an appropriate price of ten dollars I would say uh, between 15 and 20 is a very very fair price to pay for this kit anything over that and it's uh, definitely a case of uh, scalping all in all um, being aware of all this I highly recommend it purely as a collectible and a bit of airfix history all in all at the end thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content Always have a look at the description section. I like to put reference materials of um, the things that I build, where you may buy it, other little bits of uh, tidbits and research sources. Have a look on Facebook, the McConaughey Man uh, page. I put our uh, resources, tutorials, some odd things I find cool, work in progress pictures, updates, events I may be going to, anything happens on YouTube, obviously uh, links will be put there as a form of a communication tool, uh, vice versa on YouTube, um, keep an eye on that as well. Uh, all in all, uh, that concludes everything, thank you very much for watching as always, until next time, stay tuned for tutorials and other content on this channel, especially of the airbrushing variety. See you later.